Fourth question is, why are the parents of the Prophet ﷺ in hell? This question you do not ask me about. This question is something that the Prophet himself والسلام, told us about, and the hadith is in Sahih al-Imam Muslim. His father, a man came to him and said, O Prophet of Allah, where is my father? So the Prophet said, والسلام, your father is in hell. How did the Prophet know? Allahumma salli wa sallim alayhi. Because Allah told him. So the man did not feel well about the answer. The Prophet said to him, your father and my father are in hell. And in another hadith, the Prophet wept one day, alayhi salatu So they asked him, why are you weeping? He said, I sought permission from Allah to seek forgiveness for my mother, and he denied me from seeking forgiveness for her, which means that in accordance to the ayah in Surah at tawbah that the Prophet and the believers are not permitted to seek forgiveness for those who died on idol worshipping, even if they were next of kin. End of story. Now, this was the Prophet's fatwa, alayhi salatu wasalam, not mine, not Shaykh XYZ. It was from the Prophet himself, alayhi And it's not in a dubious book. It's in Sahih al-Imam Muslim, the most authentic book alongside with the Bukhari after the Qur'an. So why this is not our issue or problem? Because this is from Allah Azza wa Jal. It's a revelation. You can say that maybe because the people of Mecca had the religion of Ibrahim. This is why they were performing Hajj, they were doing Tawaf, and they had the original religion of Ibrahim of worshiping Allah on Tawheed. And his son, Ismail, was their forefather. And there was the religion of Judaism and Christianity, which they had could have adopted anyone. So these religion of monotheism were there, but they failed to choose it. So those who failed to choose it would end up in hell. This might be a reason I don't know. What I know is, what the Prophet said to us, alayhi we have to believe and comply, and Allah knows best.